We've been battling this for years. I couldn't pay attention at all. Hey! Adults come up and cuss him out right in his face, saying he's rude and obnoxious. I was falling over to the one side all the time. I couldn't stop moving my head. My head was resting on my right shoulder, which is the orthopedic surgeon, chiropractor. I've been on almost every single medication you can think of. Tegretol, Haldol, Artane. Different medication, basically month to month until there was none. I started treating children with headaches for TMJ, which is the prime cause of headaches. That's temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. I was asked to give a talk on headaches in children. I was going through about 400 cases, and I noticed all these people had movement disorders of one kind or another. By the end of the treatment, the movement disorders had disappeared. They had what's called an internal derangement or dislocated jaw joint. An internal derangement was common to most of these maladies, which was the underlying everything. This is the initial appointment of a patient who comes to me with gait problems, meaning walking disabilities, and all the typical symptoms of a Tourette's patient. She also has the symptoms of an TMJ patient. I attended a seminar and Dr. Brendan Stack was uh, one of the presenters. And he showed some videotape of some of the movement disorder patients that he had treated. And what I saw was how the application of dentistry can actually help those who have movement disorders. Here she gets up from this adjustment and you can see the difference in her physical well-being and here she is that same day, several hours later. I think she will have to pick up from here if she's to take this year's championship. There was a skater. She was Britain's uh, champion. And she had a specific disorder where she, it was very difficult for her to walk. When the appliance is inserted into her mouth, she takes a deep breath. Was it someone giving your life back? All of a sudden, the body started to work. I only can describe it like a battery, and the battery has been used up. The minute that that appliance went into my mouth, the battery was recharged. That's when I knew I had to know what was going on. I wanted to know the depth of how his work was changing the lives of these people. My symptoms were twitching, I had barking noises, I would twitch my neck back and forth, cause myself whiplash. It's amazing. I mean, you, I've always wanted, look at, looked at people and just wishing that I could just stay still. And over the summer, he changed high schools and went to another one. So the girls in the new high school wouldn't know he had Tourette's. Now he's got some girlfriends. Yeah. I had extreme pain. For the longest time, I didn't know who to turn to, where to look. As soon as he put it in my mouth, it was just an immediate release of the tension in that area. Lamar was treated at the University of Maryland. He's had Tourette's since he was seven. He came to see us the day after he went to uh, the University of Maryland, and they were going to prescribe some Valium, some drugs, so forth and so on. We made him an orthotic, and he discontinued all his tics. We got an invitation to the University of Maryland, the top neurologist there, and uh, we did a little presentation there, but I also brought Lamar, who was their patient. Lamar did not have his orthotic in, 
So he was had his tics going, as you know, and you can see them, uh, the, the neurologists, you know, looking at the side of their eyes, uh, is saying, "Why is he here?" And uh, I put, I said, "Seeing is believing." And then I told him Lamar to put his orthotic in, and once he put it in, he stopped. And if you want to see a bunch of faces, hit the floor. The trigeminal nerve, it is the largest cranial nerve in the body. It is majorly a sensory nerve. It has one motor portion to it, but it actually applies to the eyes, to the nose, and to the mouth. We believe it is in the peripheral nerve that the signal starts, and it is a, an aberrant or, or, or bad signal that goes into the brain stem, because that's where the trigeminal nerve actually goes to. Once it goes into the brain stem, the brain stem divides it and goes, one signal goes to the, to the brain, and the other signal goes to the limbs. Removing that aberrant signal causes the head to actually correct itself, or the limb to stop. This is why in, in those Tourette's patients, you see them stop. In the dystonia patients, you see them stop. In the gait disorder patients, you see them corrected. The thinking now uh, related to the oral orthotic, in a way, redefines uh, aspects of what the brainstem uh, does or what's going on in the brainstem, and specifically the fact that at the heart of it appears to be this notion of inflammation. Down and relax, and you'll... Let me make a suggestion. Uh -huh. Nerve trauma is a nerve that has been entrapped between bones and irritated. It's inflamed. It's misbehaving. It's sending uh, the wrong signals. Relax it and let it go back. The idea being to apply pressure. Before I discovered this uh, entrapped nerve in my nose, I was pretty much expecting to have to retire and never work again. And so the question is, which uh, nerves are involved and how, how do they work and how do they interact with the neuromuscular system to produce these conditions? So we're going to take a look inside my brain. <laughs> hopefully be able to put it back together again before the end of the day and uh, f see if there's anything that can be detected by some rather sophisticated techniques. When it says relax on the bottom of the screen, I want you to move your orthotic out of its correct position. A lot of times something new will come along and that'll tell us that there's something we don't know and gives us something to look at. Now we have evidence that a dental appliance can help people that have motor problems some distance away from their jaw. That's a very new piece of information. So we have to take that seriously and examine it. I think the next step is really trying to understand how it works and why it works. When you put a dental appliance in, how does it change the brain? And how does that change in the brain affect your behavior and how well you can control your, your muscle movements? Hey! The results are absolutely striking. It kind of shakes the, kind of shakes it. It really shakes the foundation of what we've thought. In medical school, we're taught that these movement disorders originate in parts of the basal ganglia, uh, deep gray nuclei in the brain. This brings a, a different twist to that thinking. I think it, it does tell us that we have an awful lot to learn. My training as an ice skater gave me the determination to pursue this journey that I've been on and not to give up. It's not about you go to a doctor, he puts this in your mouth and that solves all your problems. Don't go in thinking that I have got a cure. I, I think that it's still very much in its infancy. Thousands of people out there have these disorders. Once we understand the underlying mechanism, there might be even better method of treatment that nobody's tried yet because they didn't understand what was wrong. Why should putting something in my mouth make such a difference to me? Why should I be able to then access all the different areas of my brain and able to run a very successful company? And I would not have been able to do it. I would have been sitting in a chair as, as a vegetable. We're excited that with this appliance that he's not going to have to have all those stares all the time and people looking at him. I could totally pay attention. Um, I could read. I've never read so well before in my entire life. I feel very good now. Uh, rather excellent. It's like I don't have Tourette's anymore.
the door's been opened. We now need them to really open and look and see what's inside. Here's a gift that we've been given. How can we now make it flourish? What we've got is just the, the tip of the iceberg. You look at the origin of neurology and what we've already learned, it's unbelievable, but at the same time, there's so much we do not know. And now with other imaging techniques, we can learn so much more. And I think these are tools that uh, create a ripe opportunity to be able to understand exactly what's happening. It's a very exciting prospect. Thank you.